Palantir, the tech company with a name that sounds like something straight out of the Lord of the Rings. If you've been tracking the market lately, you've probably noticed that Palantir's stock is on a tear. The company's share price recently hit an all-time high in the $60s, and it's signing contracts faster than your favorite streaming service could drop new episodes probably. Its AI software has become more popular probably than oat milk at a hipster cafe, and growth figures look impressive at first glance. But here's the kicker, not everyone is convinced Palantir's valuation matches up with reality. So, what does this mean for Palantir? Can it sustain this momentum, or is there trouble brewing under that sleek tech exterior? Grab your popcorn, or your notepad, because we're diving into the good, the great, and the could-be-better sides of Palantir. Palantir started off as a data analytics company, working its magic for government agencies and big private sector players. Fast forward to today, and it's a household name in the tech world, well, at least in the households where people know what data ontology means. Recently, its stock reached an all-time high in the $60s, a jump that made investors feel like they were sitting on golden eggs. But it's not just the stock price that has been climbing, Palantir's reach has been expanding at an impressive rate. Contracts. Signed. Sealed. Delivered. In recent quarters, Palantir's AI software has surged in popularity. It's not just the stuff of boardroom presentations, it's the kind of tech that makes CEOs weak at the knees and CFOs do happy dances when they think no one's watching. Palantir's products, like Foundry and AIP, artificial intelligence platform, are being adopted by industries that range from healthcare to defense, and from logistics to energy. Basically, if you've got data and a need for insight, Palantir's got you covered. Imagine a massive logistics company trying to track the movement of goods across a thousand routes. Traditional methods would mean endless spreadsheets, and the CFO shouting into a conference call, why are the bananas in Alaska? With Palantir's AI, these companies get real-time updates, predictive analytics, and alerts before their bananas get frostbite. But here's where things get tricky, growth numbers that don't quite justify the sky-high valuation. According to some, Palantir needs to show massive growth for at least the next five years just to break even. Yep, you heard that right. We're talking sustained, earth-shattering, next-level growth think more, rocket to Mars, than, slow and steady elevator ride. So, what does this mean for Palantir and its investors? For starters, it puts the company in the hot seat. Palantir has to not only maintain its current momentum but also accelerate it. No pressure, right? To understand why Palantir's valuation might seem out of whack, let's dive into what fuels it. A company's valuation is essentially the stock market's way of saying, hey, this is how much we think you're worth based on what you're doing now and what we believe you'll do in the future. And oh boy, the market has some high expectations for Palantir. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, Let's continue. Picture Palantir as a hotshot chef who just won MasterChef. Everyone is expecting this chef to open a five-star restaurant, earn three Michelin stars, and basically redefine fine dining. But if that chef decides to open a food truck that sells gourmet tacos, people might start asking, is this really worth the hype? Despite the question marks surrounding its valuation, Palantir does have a lot going for it. Here are some of its key strengths. Palantir isn't signing one-off deals, it's securing multi-year contracts that promise recurring revenue. Government agencies, multinational corporations, and even some tech rivals are part of its clientele. The global demand for AI-driven solutions is at an all-time high, and Palantir is surfing this wave like a pro. The company's AIP is uniquely designed to not only process large volumes of data but also offer actionable insights. From military operations to managing hospital resources and streamlining supply chains, Palantir's software is adaptable across a wide array of sectors. It's like the Swiss Army knife of data platforms, versatile and indispensable. 
Palantir has built its reputation on handling sensitive data with care, making it a trusted partner for high-stakes clients like government agencies and defense contractors. That's not something you build overnight, it's the kind of thing that can lock in long-term partnerships. Now, let's address that elephant in the room. Some say that Palantir needs to grow significantly for over five years to justify its current valuation. Why is this such a tall order? Because consistent, exponential growth is not easy. It's like being asked to do 100 push-ups every day while also juggling flaming torches and balancing on a tightrope. For Palantir, this growth could come from various strategies. Palantir could push further into industries it hasn't fully tapped into yet, like retail and consumer goods. Continued innovation in its AI capabilities and user experience could make its software even more irreplaceable. While Palantir is already a global player, further international expansion, especially in developing markets, could boost revenue. Growth at this scale usually requires significant investment, and significant investment can impact profits. Palantir needs to strike a delicate balance between expanding its operations and keeping its financials healthy. For those holding Palantir stock, the journey ahead is as thrilling as a roller coaster with the occasional loop-de-loop. -loop. On one hand, if Palantir pulls off its ambitious plans, early investors could be sipping cocktails on private yachts five years from now. On the other hand, if growth stalls or the market sentiment shifts, there could be a lot of nail-biting in boardrooms and home offices alike. So, can Palantir truly go colossal? The answer lies in its ability to not only capitalize on its current momentum but also build upon it. If Palantir can sign more contracts, expand its customer base, and maintain technological leadership in AI, then yes, it has the potential to become an unstoppable force. But it won't be probably easy. The company will need to fend off competition, manage its rapid growth carefully, and keep delivering results that match or exceed investor expectations. The good news is that Palantir is not a one-trick pony. Its robust, adaptable software platform sets it apart from many competitors, giving it a unique edge in the tech landscape. Remember that God the creator of heaven and earth will bless you abundantly, make you the head and not the tail if you love him and obey his word. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you educative and transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.